Whistmas is the day when the Whistler Bike Park opens after a long winter. The flowers are blooming, the bears have come out of hibernation, and everything is green again. It's time to shred some hero dirt. Except this year, Old Man Winter has decided to stick around a little longer. The result of all that melting snow, mud, and a lot of it. Oh my god, it's wet here, holy crap. Oh my god, oh no. That's a giant hole. Oh my god. All this extra water would make trail conditions treacherous. Oh, jeez. <laughs> it also meant many of the trails would be closed, whether it was because they were still covered in snow or still needed to be buffed up for the masses. Some took the closures worse than others. But we were going to make the best of it. After a long winter away, it takes a bit of acclimatization to get used to the bike park again. Everything is a bit rougher, a bit faster, a bit gnarlier. Yuka has been teasing me about this drop on Schleyer. She's been calling it the scaphoid drop, after I broke that particular bone on it a few years ago. This year, with that memory in the back of my mind, I was somewhat timid. It takes a bit of time to loosen up out here. And loosen up, I did. Alright, that was fine. Yeah. I'm glad I did that. That'll help me build my confidence. As they say, pre-ride, re-ride, free-ride, bear. And although I had drops under control, a certain type of feature would take a little longer to attain. Oh, I don't like it. <laughs> As many of you know, I've had a tumultuous relationship with step-ups. <laughs> My difficulties with them have been so persistent, I recently received a comment saying that I must be faking it. Cross my heart and hope to die, I suck at step ups. On a previous Wismas, on a trail called Fade to Black, I managed to do this. In following years, I did succeed. But today, <laughs> Something wrong with me. Yeah, you're fine. But if there's someone that does not suffer from confidence issues, it's this guy. Phil from the YouTube channel, Skills with Phil, always surprises and impresses. And this year, he would do just that on a double black trail called the Canadian Open. Near the top is a 30 foot long step down. Phil has only seen it from the lift. All right. You want to hit this step down or you want to look at it? Uh, is it step up right here or step down? Yeah, it's right there, those flags there. As long as I know where it is. Apparently, that's all he needed. After hitting it completely blind, I had some questions for him. How did you know how fast to go? Generally, like, you can kind of read a trail. Like, they're not going to build like a step down like that that's super sketchy on a race trail and at the lip you're you're, really you're deciding whether to pop or just yeah like if i come up to the lip and i notice like my gut instinct is telling me i don't have enough speed i can give it a little bit of pop everything he said makes sense yet it still blows my mind personally if i can't see the landing i'm going to be looking first down at the lift, the team at Pink Bike was on the hunt for interesting bikes. Hey, do you want to do a bike check for Pink Bike? Like one photo. Sure. You got it. 
Like the comments on the pink bike post, the eagle-eyed among you have noticed that I've changed out my fork and shock. And you would be correct. Since I'm going to continue riding my Deviate Highlander for the season, I thought I'd upgrade the suspension. After reading many glowing reviews, I purchased a new fork and coil shock from EXT. I've only been running the setup for a little while now, but so far, I've been happy with the performance. But all the fancy suspension in the world can't save me from myself. Oh. Ow! That hurt. I should have known better. I witnessed the exact same accident earlier in the day. As it turns out, wet off camber rock plus bad bicycle riding equals black and blue. Yuka thought she'd alter the equation and replace rock with wood. Oh my god! But unfortunately for her, the result is still the same. Off camber anything is just plain scary. In fact, our friend Annie, on her third lap of the day, managed to hurt herself on another wet off camber slab. And at the hospital, they let her know that she had become a bike park statistic. I said, you're the first one. Did you tell me that? I'm like, you ride it now. <laughs> the truth of the matter is that the majority of our crashes in the Whistler bike park seem to happen on Schleyer. Last year, I cased this step down and nearly hit a sizable rock just off the trail in a puddle. <laughs> Oh, okay. This year, you get did something very similar. Oh. oh yeah, that was bad. Big rock. Whoopsie. To save future riders from a similar fate, we return to remove the rock. But if there's a way to lighten the mood, it's our fans. For some time now, Yuka and I have been getting recognized while we're out on the trail. It's a legend! <laughs> How's it going? And this year, the sheer number of you that want to say hi has reached record levels. Yuka! Yes! My favorite! Thank you! <laughs> you make good content too. Yeah? Yeah, I like your videos. Oh, thank you! <laughs> oh! Hi! Hey! I know you! <laughs> Hey! <laughs> His name's also Eric. Yeah. Nice to meet you, Eric. Hi, Eric. Hi did you sack yourself? I did a comfortable in the landing, but you can definitely go farther than I did. I just want to follow you guys on Heart of Darkness. Okay. <laughs> but what if we're not doing Heart of Darkness? Let's still follow you. Hi, Ben. How are you guys? Hello. You see your POV, right? That's me, yeah. Good job up there. Thanks. <laughs> A line? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, you got. Hey! <laughs> yeah, that girl, you got. Hello! Thanks for being so stoked on our channels. Oh, yeah. And as it turns out, if there's a way to start clearing jumps, it's having a train of overly excited teenagers follow you down A line. ACPOV, can I follow you? Sure. Try as well. Try as well. <laughs> you may. <laughs> you're great. No, you're not. I'm how was it? Good, I felt a little bit of pressure to clear GLC, so I pretty much did. <laughs> Good. While at the bike park, you bump into a lot of interesting people. Oh. Hey. hey. <laughs> Whether it's an old co worker hey. or Remy Metallier. Hey. When you see him doing this kind of stuff, you're just kind of like, 
Jeez. It's honestly really fun to watch. But when you actually ride with someone at his skill level, it's kind of intimidating. I mean, he's got his name on his back for crying out loud. So when he tells me about a trail gap I should do, I'm cautious. And I, and I usually go around the drop. Oh, really? Yeah. You prefer it? Yeah, I find it more fun. So instead of taking the drop, you can jump a little bit. There's nothing, nothing special. You don't have to go fast. Okay, we'll see what happens. Uh, there's like the, definitely a difference in skill level. Oh, that's it. That's what he's talking about. Here's the thing though. Remy is a lot more human than you might think. He says things like... Sorry, right hand corner. It's really muddy before the bridge. Oh yeah, it's a bit loose here. It's pretty slippery. Yeah, that's not bad. I maybe the... maybe I wasn't going as fast as you, but... Oh no, I was doing yeah. I found the rocks really slippery. Yeah. You can do it, you know? The fact that he worries about trail conditions makes him more relatable. Unlike other pros, I feel like I can trust him. Maybe he would be the right person to follow into Fade to Black. I've been spooked by the step up this year on Fade. Have you done it yet? I've done it past years many times, but this year... I remember your video where you... Yeah, went under. Yeah, it's uh... I don't know what it is with me and step up. What if you follow me, I'll have the right speed. was sick. <laughs> I heard you uh, behind me. Good job. Yeah, okay. I, I, was, I, I was listening to see if I could hear the wood. Yeah. Nice. I don't know what it is. Something in my head just switches and I can do it. I'm just happy I did the damn thing again. It's good to be back in the bike park. Lap after lap, smashing those corners, tearing down those rock slabs, and sending those jumps. Woo! <laughs> All in the company of good friends. And what would be a better way to finish off Wismus than with Remy following me down a line? Yeah, thanks for riding. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Super good.